Hey everyone, Destroyer here with a This Means War video on farming above 3000 medals. Lately I've been very busy upgrading my defences and I only have one left which is the rocket battery. Once this is done I'm only left with a few collectors, walls and traps, so this is the last time I'll be farming for upgrades. I'll be using 60 grunts and 60 hackers which are both at the maximum level. This is one of the cheapest troop compositions which costs 120,000 supplies to build. If you can attack fast enough you can get most of these troops back after the attack, so it's very fast and efficient. I did do 15 attacks with these troops, so I've selected 3 good examples for you to look at to see what to expect above 3000 medals. So let's have a look at the first attack. They are a HQ level 8. And the loot is fairly average, however it is a fairly simple layout. I do like bases that have a lot of space down the sides. This way I can use my grunts to push the line back and then spam a lot of hackers to clear the loot. I'll do my best, sir. So I do try and drop my grunts as far right as possible. So I did, I did drop 10 down the line. Do expect a lot of landmines and uh, ambush there. However, there doesn't seem to be many there, which is very good for me. So I managed to push the line back very quickly. And that's out of the way of most of the defenses. So it's just a matter of dropping some grunts for a distraction and then the hackers to clear the loot. This base isn't worth many uh, medals, so I presume this base is below 3,000. So even at 3,000 medals you can find some easy bases. So as soon as I hit 40% and get all the loot I uh, exit straight away. And I did get 15 grunts and 32 hackers back so it was a very quick attack. Moving on to the second attack now. It's another good design for farming. You can push your grunts down the left and right hand side which will expose the middle section. It pushes the battle line behind the wall. So same as last time, I'm dropping my troops down the side, all those grunts. And I expect some ambush there, so I do use a lot of grunts to help take them down. But in this case, I'm just going to use some troops in the middle and wait for those to clear out of the way. So now that those uh, troops on the left hand side have cleared, I can put more grunts down there. It's pushed the battle line back past that uh, wall in the middle, which allows me to drop some grunts for a distraction, followed by a lot of hackers to clear the resources. So I'll just continue doing that using uh, grunts for distraction and hackers to clear. Another fairly quick attack, it's almost been one minute. As soon as I hit the 40% and clear all of the loot, I will abort straight away. The sooner you abort, the, uh, the more troops you get back from headquarters. 17 grunts and 22 hackers back. The third attack is another simple design. Their design allows me to push the grunts down the left hand side to expose the right hand side for attack. So it's just a matter of uh, getting that line behind the wall, then you can drop troops. But I want to clear those resources out on the right hand side first, so my, uh, high, my hackers don't get distracted. At the same time it's holding the battle line back. I'm going to keep dropping grunts on the right hand side there, until the troops on the left clear. Then I can spam a lot of grunts to push the line back. They are getting distracted on those artillery tanks. And as soon as those are out of the way, I can drop more grunts down the left, and that pushes the line back. So now the uh, line on the right has reached the resources. I can drop a lot of grunts for distraction and a lot of hackers to clear the loot. So when you're farming at this level, you really need to choose your um, bases carefully. Make sure it's something that's very easy to clear out, like this one. 
and as you can see I got 48% and all the loot. I was considering getting two stars on this one but I decided to abort. 18 grunts and 20 hackers back there, it's not too bad. So that was the 7 million that I required to upgrade this last rocket battery. I did 15 attacks and I did lose two of them because uh, the enemy did reach 40% before I did, but I did get some decent loot. So 5 million supplies in 15 attacks is pretty good. So that's a 7 day upgrade. Once that completes I will have all of my defenses active. So I will be able to push my medals up much higher. However I'll stop using the grunts and hackers and start aiming for 3 star wins. In my next video I'll be using 10 hunter drones and 5 hijackers. So stay tuned for that shortly.